Well, it's a quieter evening across central Illinois, opposed to this time last night. All the shower and thunderstorm activity for today has stayed off to our southeast, which you can see here on SkyTrack, moving across parts of Kentucky and southern Indiana. We still do have a few lingering showers across our area, though, so zooming in for a closer look, you can see those still lingering across parts of Crawford, Clark, and Vigo counties, and then another area around northern Edgar County into southern Vermilion, and then there's been another area of development just to the north of our viewing area around Gibson City into the Watsika area off to the north of Champaign and Vermilion counties. So we're going to keep the chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms in the forecast through the evening hours. But I think the better chance for rain is going to be holding off for us until we get into the early morning hours. Right now, we did manage to get some sunshine earlier this afternoon, so that helped boost temperatures up into the 70s. We're still in the 70s in Decatur and Taylorville and in Effingham. 67 right now here in Charleston, 69 in Paris, but where it's still raining, a little bit cooler, still 65 right now in Robinson and in Terre Haute. So putting Futurecast into motion for your evening hours, again, you can see a few of those hit or miss showers through the evening hours, but we will get some dry time through the overnight. But until we get into the early morning hours, that's when the chances for some more showers and thunderstorms ramp up across the area. So we're going to see that moving through during the morning commute. And then we're going to keep that chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms in the forecast across the day for your Thursday. Again, I don't think it's going to be an all-day washout, but we're going to have to keep those chances in the forecast with the moisture that we have around the area. And then a cold front is going to be sliding through once we get into the evening hours. So that will give us one more final wave of activity through the evening hours on Thursday. And then once that clears through the area, that will be giving us some more dry time going into Friday morning. But some of those storms on Thursday could be on the strong to severe side. So the Storm Prediction Center does have our southeastern counties in a slight risk for severe weather. That's the second out of five categories. More of us in a marginal risk for severe weather. But again, I think the best ingredients for that severe weather are going to be off to our southeast. So be sure to stay tuned. Philip Collins will have the latest updates tomorrow here on Newswatch with this system. But we are going to be seeing more rainfall across the area. Our western counties have really been soaked. Some places haven't seen much rain at all over the past week. And future cast shows those rainfall amounts are going to be pretty scattered in nature. Some areas could pick up as much as an additional inch of rain where some of those heavier thunderstorms develop, but other areas may see a lighter amount depending on where those thunderstorms set up. So again, another inch of rain possible once we get through the daytime tomorrow. And for that reason, we continue with a flash flood watch for all of our Illinois counties. Vigo County, the only exception for our viewing area. This is going to be in effect until 7 p.m. on Thursday. So we're going to keep an eye on the potential for more of that flooding through the overnight hours. Now, once we get into Friday, we're still going to hold on to those mostly cloudy skies. The rain chances return going into the evening hours, and especially overnight. Looks to stay just to our southeast for the day on Saturday. Still keeping in the forecast for a few lingering showers Saturday morning, but we'll see the sky start to clear out once we get into the afternoon hours on Saturday. So looking ahead into the weekend, we are going to see those temperatures cooling down as well thanks to that cold front. 68 for your high on Friday. Again, evening showers lasting through the overnight hours into early Saturday. Highs only topping out at 66 for your day on Saturday. For any of the EIU commencement ceremonies going on, the morning round may have a few lingering showers in the morning, but we'll start to lose that cloud cover going through the afternoon hours. So by the afternoon, we're seeing partly sunny skies and temperatures in the mid-60s. So again, a little bit more cooler than we should be for this time of year. Our average high is in the lower 70s. So once we get into the overnight hours tonight, we're expecting mostly cloudy skies. Showers and thunderstorms again a potential, especially through the early morning hours. Still mild temperatures only falling down into the lower 60s. Up to 73 tomorrow, we will have those scattered showers and thunderstorms. Again, not an all-day washout. More showers and thunderstorm chances are in the forecast. We do dry out going into Sunday and Monday, so a couple dry days there. But then more shower and thunderstorm chances arrive in the forecast once we get into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. But temperatures are back up into the upper 70s on Monday. Thank you, Everett.